Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you a quick demo of our 30 watt desktop fiber laser. The machine stands on a desk, table, whatever you like, you can put your PC underneath, and the machine runs uh, EasyCAD software. So I've created a demo file which allows us to look at the settings and what they can do for you. First thing you do is you import as a vector file. The file that I've created is called the fiber test. And we open it and by clicking over here, we bring it into the center of the screen. I'll just zoom in as well to see to get a better look at it. So we have three tigers. I'm gonna do a black, white, and just an outline. We'll start off with the black one. Firstly, what we need to do is just uh, uncombine them because it's coming as a combined uh, image. So we uncombine. And if we have a look at the settings for the first one, we'll see the speed is 100, power is 30, frequency is 20 kilohertz, and the hatch is 0 0.05. Hatching is filling of the item. So these things were originally done in Corel Jewel and they were filled there with a black fill. But bringing them in as a vector simply brings in the outline. So we want to fill them, we need to go to the hatching. So the first one we'll do is the black one. And we'll select it all, go up to the hatching icon. And we'll see we've got the options here. A lot of different options, but essentially the basic ones are here and the distance, the line distance is probably the most important one at 0 05. Smaller the number, the tighter the hatch and the longer it will take to do. The 0 05 will stick on and we'll see we now get a fill on that one. If we now go to down the bottom here uh, to mark select, then it will only do the selected it will only mark the selected item, which in this case is what we want. So we want to go to the parameters. We see we've got uh, 100, which is what we wanted. Uh, we have a power setting of, we want 30%. And the frequency is 20, which is correct. So if you now go back here, um, and we do right that will now show us where the image is going to be and in this case I want it to be quite near the edge because we're going to put three of them in a, lo in a row here so we come back to here we stop the light and we go to the mark button The red dot you see in the middle is from a red dot pointer that we have attached to the machine so that uh, when the two red dots align, the machine is in focus. Here's our first one. Now we'll move on to the white one. And once again, we we'll simply select. You we'll see we have a speed of 1500, power uh, of 50%. And frequency of 35. That's kilohertz. So we've got it selected, we now need to just hatch it again. We use the same settings for hatching. And we can check on the light. We'll see it's in the center. And we can go to mark. You'll notice this one's a lot faster running at 1500 millimeters per second. But it does give you a different effect. And lastly, the fastest one even though the speed is set slower because we're not going to hatch this. This will be done at 100. 40% uh, power. 
and the frequency of 20 kilohertz. And of course we have no hatch, so it's just the outline. And once again we'll go to the mark button. So here we have our three tigers that we did today. Just move this.